Hello you guys, uh, welcome to another uh, update video. Um, we're doing here a 2024 uh, Corvette uh, using this system. So we're gonna use the cable, we're gonna use the V200 and we're gonna use a laptop. We're gonna connect to the computer. I show you how I do that. So going into the car, we're just gonna put the V200 uh, right in there. We're gonna take the USB-C and the USB to the computer. After we have done that and we have the computer with internet, we're just gonna go to um, Google Chrome and we're just gonna go to our AC Delco website and we're gonna do login so after we logged into our account we're just gonna scroll down here all the way we're gonna hit I've read and agree so when we are here we can go to view after we have purchased uh, one of them we're just gonna do add VIN um, all this is just to launch the AC Delco in the right way. So we're going to launch the, I'm sorry, the Techline Connect. Now one thing to note it, um, if it gives you a problem to connect with the V200 and it does uh, do that, just do updates and uh, reset uh, your computer and it's going to work. Um, it always needs to be up to date. So after we get to the screen, we're just gonna press OK on that. Now we're just gonna press, so in this case, we already have that uh, car. So for us, it's the first one. So we're gonna hit select. And then here, we're just gonna hit continue. And then here we're just gonna go to SP2 and we're gonna let it load. When we got to here, we're just gonna press the next all the way on the bottom over here. In the meantime, we can take the new key and we can place it over here. Uh, now, even if it's an all key lost, uh, there is uh, no differences either than if you cannot put the key, uh, the car on to on position, uh, you're just gonna close and open the door a couple times. Um, it's very easy. There is nothing you really need to do. But in this case, we're just gonna let it go. And here, we're gonna go to Immobilizer Learn. And we're gonna press next all the way on the bottom. Now we're just gonna hit proceed. And now we're gonna go ahead and do add key. So program transponder or remote and we're gonna hit next. So now we're gonna need to put the ignition on and again, if you cannot put, you're just gonna close and open the door a couple times and it's gonna do it for you, but we have a key, so we're just gonna put the ignition in on position. So everything is on and we're just gonna hit next. But we have done this uh, key uh, a couple days ago and it was all key lost and it was the same. So that's why I'm saying. So now we're gonna close the door. So after we have closed the door, we're just gonna press next. And now we're gonna wait the 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're gonna be able to uh, We're gonna be able to uh, program the key, so we're just gonna let the key be there, and I will be back to you uh, as soon as that clock is getting uh, closer to the end.
Okay, so now the clock is getting uh, to the end of it. Um, so again, we're just gonna have the key in the front cup holder. And we're just gonna wait. So now it tells us the number of the keys uh, and asking us if we want to learn the next key. So we're just going to press uh, yes. Um, so we place the key uh, in the slot and we're just going to press next. And it tells us to press the push to start. So we did that. And then we can press next. And we can see that the key has been learned. And I mean, it's very, very hard to hear. But outside, you can see that the light is blinking every time I press the, the unlock. So you, we don't want to learn more keys. So we're just going to hit no. And now we're going to need to press the push to start. Uh, for 16 seconds so we're just gonna press next and we're just gonna press it so it says key learning is complete on the dash um, and we're gonna turn the ignition to off and we're gonna hit next and now we're gonna wait another minute and a half so when that clock is done the immobilizer um, is complete um, we can just check if this key uh, starts the car so we're just gonna press and hold the push to start Exit the car first. And the car is kind of on, on position, so now off. So now we can check the functions and see that it's the right key for this. So we can see it's open this trunk. And then this should open the front trunk and we have the remote start and we have the roof and we have the panic so we're just going to give it a test to see that all the lights is off so we're just going to have this one key here and we're going to press the push button for like 12 seconds roughly to get the ignition on so as you can see the dash stays clean Well, everything is working. So one more thing we needed to do on uh, this Corvette Whoa. was getting the key cutting and the lock is right here. So just to show you guys how we execute that. So we have placed the leash this way and we have picked it to um, counterclockwise. And it didn't really pick, it just went a little bit. I read it, but uh, the key that I've cut uh, turning perfectly and to open you're turning uh, clockwise. So just to give you another uh, uh, tip right there, you're just gonna use the eight cut HU100 and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise just a little bit. It's not gonna turn a lot, it's gonna turn really like a friction, but you're gonna feel that you can read it and be gentle with the pick because this uh, lock has uh, an anti-pick uh, something installed so if you're going to put like the wrong key you can turn it but it's not going to be doing the function so just another tip over there so now the key is locked the car is locked and also uh, the spaces that you're going to get is going to be from four to eight so it's just going to be the last five and we just placed it over there and as you can see the door is locked and we're just gonna twist it so 
this is how you do the programming for those uh, C8 Corvettes. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you guys in the next video.